Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Abe's Exodus. You are here with Morris, and at the end of the last part, we just kind of rocketed through the sort of opening section of this, um, and now we are kind of going back to clean up what we missed before. Um, yeah, for anyone who is... Uh, I'm kind of wondering about this, because I know this game fairly well, and I'm kind of blasting through it. If there's anything anybody wants me to explain, please let me know. <laughs> Because there is a lot, of, a lot of stuff has happened. Like at this point, you know, I, I couldn't even. A lot has happened. I know that, but I probably couldn't list everything that has actually happened because, you know, I've played it hundred times, and it, you know, it just, it's just kind of second nature now, to be honest. All right, let's not mess this up. Oh, nearly, nearly. He just, he just got away. He's cheeky, this one. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know what's going on here, Abe, in all his mystical glory has the ability to take possession of the weak-minded, aka these uh, these horrible slick guard things, um, as well as other creatures in this game. I think that's it for this. And uh, when you control stuff, you can actually go on little missions and kind of unlock, uh, you know, other stuff to, to kind of rescue whoever you missed, you know. Chances are if there's a puzzle that needs solving, it's because you got to possess something mm -hmm. and then use them to unlock new areas, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool. I like it. I loved it in the first game, and they kind of went, you know what, this is what makes... They, they obviously looked at it and went, this is what makes our game awesome, so we'll put this in and we'll make it so you can possess so many more things. So in this you can possess sligs and kind of different creatures, and ah, uh, you'll, you'll see as we go along. But it's all good stuff. And I kind of like this layered approach. I like that there's stuff going on in the background, it gives it a bit of depth. And it's weird, because it's kind of like when you're in the background, you're kind of invading the artwork. Like, I mean, you know, that's one of the cool things about having these kind of pre-rendered backgrounds and everything, is you can, you can just get all this cool artwork in, and then you can just stamp on features. Like, look how bright Abe is, and look how bright the lever is, compared to the kind of, the, uh, the sort of, I mean, I, I guess it's just a rock face in the background, you know? You can kind of keep that original art look about it, which is cool. Oh, and there's teleporters. That's new. <laughs> is it new? Were there teleporters in the first one? I don't even remember. It's been a while since I've actually played that. I always go to this one first, just because, again, just because it's longer, there's more going on. And this is something I mentioned in the last episode, you know? What makes a good sequel? Is it okay to just kind of... Actually, i got to go back down and save that other guy. Is it okay to just, you know, copy-paste and add a bit more in and say, yeah, here's, here you go, here's your sequel? I think with something like this, it is. Because, I don't know, I, I still feel like a lot of love went into this. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. <laughs> Yo, you're the last one in this area, dude. How do you feel? Oh, and you'll also notice that I roll rather than run. I don't know why. Rolling is way more precise than running. Because you kind of have that slide. Oh, God. Shut up. You kind of have that slide at the end there. So I don't really like to run. If you just roll, you get to stop wherever you want. And it's kind of... Again, like the like the screens themselves, it's tile-based. So, you know, you press right once and there you go. Just imagine, like, squares, you know, along the floor. And it's the same with everything else. But with this, you kind of have to work out... Like, I believe that's a two-tile slide there. You kind of have to work out, you know, where everything is when, you, when you're running. But if you just roll, it's kind of cool. It's a bit more precise, you know? Same with actually, I, I prefer to uh, I prefer to sneak rather than walk, just because I feel safer going. You know, one, two, just it's 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 maybe it's a personal thing. I don't know. If anyone out there does the same thing, that'd make me feel a whole lot better. But if not, that's cool too. I've been doing it for years. I'm I'm used to it now. <laughs> so you see, when you it, it, well, here we go. Here's a good example. See, if I end up here. I, I kind of, I feel bad, I can't, there, there's so many times where you can just accidentally walk off the edge. But with sneaking, it's just, it's it's a little more precise, and the same with rolling. Like, I don't fear going off the side there. Just because of how precise it is. And I'm really glad I didn't accidentally roll off there, <laughs> otherwise I would have... Ah, playthrough over, playthrough over. <laughs> but yeah, you may be wondering why, kind of, why now, you know? 
I mean, I, I mentioned wanting to do Abe's Odyssey because because a friend of mine did it, but that was a while ago, you know? That was kind of... I don't even know how long ago that was. It was that long. Uh, so, you know, why now? Why would you do it now? Why would you do it, like, a year later or whatever? Well, um, if anybody's kind of been keeping up with the world of Oddworld, and I, I don't imagine a lot of people will, but recently there have been... Uh, well, recently? I don't, I don't know about recently. I don't... <laughs> But um, I know there have been in the past few months um, trailers for a new Oddworld game, Ow, which is the uh, the remake or the reimagined. Well, no, yeah, it's kind of a remake. It is a remake. It's the uh, it's kind of Abe's Odyssey HD thing, but it's it's been kind of been given. It's one of these that's been given, you know, the big graphical overhaul. Um, as well as other things, from what I can tell from the from the different trailers. Um, for one thing, it's uh, it's not the kind of screen-based system that we got going here. It's uh, it's a lot more. It, the camera sticks with Abe, you know. It's a lot more flowing. Um, how that kind of thing will change the gameplay, I don't know. But uh, you know, that remains to be seen. That guy's the worst guard ever. How do you, how would you not how would you not hear that? Look at that beautiful happy face for a loading screen. <laughs> Freedom! Game over. Don't drink that. Why not? Because uh, if brews made by gluckins, it's probably bad for you. What it's probably poisonous, you Look, guys. We came all this way just to help you. Well, but it's not unreasonable that we are just a little bit thirsty. Now, is it? Yeah, but in case you didn't notice, we just walked across the desert. So back off, Stitch Lips. But no. This is a little ridiculous. I kind of get that they're thirsty, but look at the big, huge, big glucking face on the on the machine. It's like. You know these guys are slave masters, right? <laughs> eh, it's all good. Lots of it. Then oh, they man. got all sick looking, but they still wanted more. That's what it's I essentially me at the first year of uni, I think. <laughs> was made from our bones. This is bad. Drunk even worse stuff now? than that, I tell you. What do you do? How about leading us out of here? Uh, okay, follow me. Okay. But... Oops, I forgot he was oh, blind. Help me rescue the rest of them. Whoa, he just broke the fourth I wall. I can't believe it. That's him. It's that aim guy. Promotion. Here I come. Free. There's a lot of dog humor in this game. Which I love, by the way. <laughs> I mean, that guy just died. <laughs> I mean, the intro is like a load of blind slavers, you know? Blind slaves, sorry. <laughs> Hacking away at bones, like... <laughs> Not one for the kids! Although I did play it as a kid. Although my parents were kind of strict about this one. <laughs> I remember, uh, ooh, secrets. I remember uh, when I was allowed to play this, it was it was a sacred occasion, you know. It was only ever for like an hour at a time or something. But... Oops. By the way, these secrets, I know where they are, but I don't remember how to do all of them. Um, okay, I remember this one's pretty simple. But, uh, like, you know, I, I can remember where, where the openings are for the secrets, but then when I get in them, it might take a while to actually complete them. I noticed I'm not quick saving nearly enough. Oops. Wow, I really overshot that one. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, there is a lot of dark humor in this. I don't really want to talk. It's kind of a quiet game. I mean, I have it turned down a little bit, but it is quite a quiet game, so I don't really want to talk too much over the uh, over the cutscenes. But there aren't that many. It's really all just there's mostly. Yeah, it's got to be like 90%. 95% maybe gameplay in this, which is great. Um, you know, I, I mean, talking about, I mean, E3 has just recently happened, and I much prefer, you know, when they when they big up games, but all they've really got is kind of a CG trailer. 
I don't know, you try and not get caught along with the hype, really. I prefer just seeing a bit of gameplay with people talking about it. I love just... Just give me gameplay, dude. <laughs> That's what people remember about games. Mostly, anyway. But yeah, the uh, the re the reimagining, I guess, of uh, Abe's Odyssey is going to be a really interesting one. But the one thing, the one thing I'm kind of worried about. <coughs> excuse me. Stop shooting, guys! You can't see anything. The one thing I am worried about is uh, this. The you know Abe's Odyssey, especially. Uh, but, but but both of these games, Odyssey and Exodus, are difficult games. You know, I mean, alright, I played them as a kid, and you might say, well, with your tiny baby brain, you probably couldn't figure things out as well, but no, seriously, even now, it's like, you know, there's no way I'm doing stuff first time, you know what I mean? And when I go quiet, by the way, that's me thinking about what's going to happen next. Because <laughs> they still require a lot of concentration. The one thing I'm so terrified about, um... You know, this kind of uh, HD version is, are they going to soften the difficulty? Because it happens, it happens with games these days. Um, they're just, a lot of them are kind of easy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that won't happen. I mean, even having a system like this, you know, no auto saves, just have a quick save in there. It just makes it, you know, you'll fuck up just as many, as many times as it takes to do it properly, you know what I mean? But you'll still have, you'll still be able to reload. It's kind of like having a personal checkpoint system, you know? <laughs> and god, you know, I mean god damn you if you forget about the quick save. Because it will, it will just, this game will shit on you, it will spawn you miles back. But yeah, hopefully that won't happen. I would like them that they'll remain true to their kind of roots. You'd make it a proper challenge. I mean, it's a platformer, kind of, but... There's not that much platforming in it, you know what I mean? I hope that made sense. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's more to do... What I mean is, it's more leading towards puzzle solving, you know? You're kind of given a screen, and then you're asked how to figure out... How to, I mean, some of them, you know, are kind of about traversing the territory, but a lot of times it's about how can I kind of manipulate what's going on here to work for me. Like this. <laughs> and I know I'm quick saving a lot, but that doesn't mean I'm going to try and make this a perfect run. Like, if if a load of guys die, then that's, that's it. Otherwise, I'll be here. I mean, you know, given my... Uh, tendency to take a while to do anything, uh, we'll be here till, till, you know, be here till Christmas, um, <laughs> trying to, uh, trying to complete this if I start, you know, reloading everything. That's another reason why, why I wanted to play this, because I'm decently familiar with what's going on, and I think that's it for this. So we'll just get rid of you. That's what I mean, it's kind of like... This humor of just like he just killed so many people. I mean, they're kind of half robot. What are they, Sligs? I don't even know what they are. They got kind of robot legs, but the torso isn't. <laughs> I don't know if I should feel bad or not. Oh yeah, we're done with this tunnel. I know we're all 75 are in the mines, so that's that's you know that's a good that's a good start. Oh, these are the five that just got super pissed. Hey, guys. Oh, man. I feel for him. I do. Hey, guess what? This this is disc two. But we can't go in there yet. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice little area. But we'll revisit that. Don't worry. Alrighty. Exit. No return. Let's do it. Yeah, to get the, uh, oh my god, I remember this area. <laughs> Bitchin' music, I'm gonna leave it for a bit. Ah, that's a cool chase theme. When you hear that, you know shit's going down. Anyway, yeah, there's a, like with the, like with the first game, there are two endings to this. Uh, 
and you have to, and so again, like with the first game, you got to save, I think it's 50% of, oh god, oh yeah, I misjudged that one, <laughs> I think it's 50% uh, or more saved to uh, to get the good ending, any less than that, you get the bad ending. But well, we are aiming for the good ending here. But yeah, getting the original, uh, getting the first 75 is like... Basically, it gives you a good platform for, uh, for getting that good ending. I feel really bad doing this. Mostly because of the sound effects. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, they were going to kill me, so... You know, you could, argue, you, you could make that argument. But, uh, I never feel good doing that. Sloggies is so cute! Why do they gotta kill? Why can't you have a pet one? I would have a pet one in real life, even though it has no skin. But hey. Alright, here we go. First rock puzzle. Let's gotta love these. Okay, we have nine chances here. <laughs> Oops. I think this is right. That's weird, because if you stand here and you throw it up, you can't actually hit it, I don't think. Which is why you you got to stand to the side of it, which is, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Maybe kind of just a bad shot, I don't know. Alright, stand here, how oh, good, it's giving, me, it's giving me a lot of choice here. And another thing about... Uh, Crouching is you don't, uh, with the explosions, you don't get knocked on your ass each time. Which is great. I don't know about you, but I enjoy. Oh, secret. I enjoy not being knocked on my ass. <laughs> Alrighty, well, what time are we on? 17 minutes. I guess I gotta pause it for now, guys, but thank you so much for watching. Episode 2 of Abe's Exodus, and uh, I'm just gonna be hanging here until episode 2, episode 3, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I hope to see you there, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in a bit. See you later.